Hey guys and welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video gonna be a super fun because we are going to create this looping burger animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here am I in Adobe Illustrator. I got this illustration from freepick.com. Link is available in the description. So you can do check it out now or practice it along with them. And now let's select this illustration. You are free to choose any illustration you want, but this is quite simple. So I'll select this and I'll simply hit Ctrl C to copy this illustration. Then I have created another illustrator file. Height width is 1920 by 180. I'll save this file first and then press Ctrl V to paste this illustration and now let's go inside this we have all these things so click on the circular icon then go over here release two layers sequence and simply click on it and by holding shift select all of these layers and simply drag this downwards and we will delete this extra layer like this okay now save this file at appropriate position in your computer now we will go to the adobe after effects and we will create a new composition i'll call it as main animation like this and simply hit ok and press ctrl i on your keyboard to select this illustration i have this over here import as i'm going to choose composition weight and layers and sizes and simply hit import and we will simply bring this composition over here let's double click to open this comp so we'll get something like this now select all of them and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we'll bring this at downwards and by holding shift i'm gonna move this over here Again hit Ctrl D, let's bring this downwards and let's move this over here like this, okay. And instead of that we don't want to another duplicate, simply we can focus on this ones only. And now let's select all the downwards layers like this, okay. Now we have to focus on the animation of this one and now let's select all of them and by holding i mean by pressing ctrl shift c i'll call it as burger and hit ok uh, let's double click to open this composition select all of them and press p for position let's create one keyframe let's zoom in a little bit go to around 20 frames create one keyframe go to around 1.10 frames create another keyframe and go to around one second and let's move this over here and initially i'm gonna move this out of this composition somewhere around like this select those keyframe and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and simply by holding shift let's move this graph over here select this move this graph over here now we will select this by holding shift let's move this over here select this holding shift move this over here select this adjust it like this select this and adjust it like this so if I see this, I'm going to get something like this. Now let's not know, but let's go to around 10 frames. So and select this fifth layer with the help of open bracket. Let's adjust it over here. Select this and go to the one second, go to the 1.10 frames. Select this, move this over here and go over here and adjust it like this. So if I see this animation, we will get something like this. Now let's go to the new and let's enable all these layers like this now press ctrl r on your keyboard to create this grid and by holding shift i'm going to move this thing over here like this and go inside this burger select all of them and enable this motion blur also select all of them and enable the motion blur now right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press p for position and create one keyframe like this and let's play now up to around 3.15 frames i'm gonna select this illustration and i'll move this over here and i'll hit n and now if i see i'll get this kind of continuous animation like this okay now let's select this and press s and we will increase the scale of this hit u because we have to hide the middle portion so now we have to adjust the last keyframe again so let's delete this last keyframe we will bring this line a little bit over here and now we will hit play 
now at this point i or let's say around over here i want this to be in loop so i'll move this downwards like this and hit the end so let's play so we will get something like this now press control y on your keyboard to create a white solid background and hit ok and bring this downwards and now select this burger and make sure you click on this icon like this so we'll get this continuous looping falling animation of our burger like this so yep this is just a simple tutorial so thank you for watching so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned